That's why uh, Israel was great with their songs and their praise and their worship as they sat there before David's tabernacle and they just worshipped the Lord. And David said, Asaph, get out your paper and your notes and take down everything that Israel says and sings before the Lord. That's your book of Psalms. That's where it came from. And so here we are today with music. Music can be used to lift the soul into another realm. Or it can be used to create anger and hatred and destruction. If you watch some of the pop concerts, you'll find that some of that music will cause people, particularly the girls, to take off their clothing. All sorts of crazy things. Music has tremendous power in both the negative and the positive directions. It can be used in either way. But in God, music is a most wonderful thing. Because it represents the sound from heaven. Yeah. Now I want to tell you today, listen, we better turn to it. 2 Thessalonians chapter 4. 2 Thessalonians chapter 4. And verse 13, it says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others that have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose from the dead, then he said, Them also which are asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain under the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them that are asleep, or shall not go before those that are asleep. For the Lord himself shall defend, descend from heaven. This is the whole series, this is the rapture, of course, according to religious world. I'm going to tell you the truth right now. It says here, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. I want to tell you, God has come down to be with man. God has become part of us. He has joined with us to become a corporate man, the whole body of the Christ, with Jesus Christ, the head of that body. The body is a spirit, the, the head rather, is spirit, and can only be joined to a spirit body, not a physical body. So therefore the change must take place in us, if we're going to be the body of Christ. So it says here, the Lord shall descend from heaven. That is out of the spirit world. Not the place with the golden streets and, and, and you know the gates of pearls and all that stuff. But just simply out of the spirit world he will descend to pick you and I up. And what's he going to do? It says here he'll descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel. There will come a sound from heaven. A sound from heaven. And what will that sound do? That sound, when your body picks it up, will begin to resonate. Yes. It will begin to resonate in the same frequency as that sound from heaven itself. Yes. And your body will be changed. Yes. God doesn't have to change anything else. He doesn't have to go take that body away and let it go back to the dust and give you a new one. Your body, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh. Except it's under the control of the carnal mind and also the frequency of this body has now slowed down and seems like it is continuing to slow down somewhat because I've never seen a time when there's more sickness than there is today. Remembering back to my uh, young days, my childhood days, I don't remember so many people ever being sick. But today almost every person you talk to has got some problem, some way or another. Should have been a doctor, there's plenty of work out there. <laughs> so, there's a sound that's going to come from heaven. There's the voice of the archangel, who was the, the, the forerunner of Jesus Christ himself. And that voice is the voice of heaven also. 
And it's going to resonate in us and produce a life that nothing else could produce. Because the light is really in you. But your body has the wrong frequency. It has taken on board the frequency of this world. Yes. According to the Mayan calendar, in the year 2012, the calendar, their calendar finished. I don't mean that's the end of the world. But from what I'm reading today, from the scientific people, there is a change that's going to come into this world. Yes. And that change is the magnetism of the earth itself. Yes. Which is going to affect a lot of electronic stuff. It's going to affect a lot of things on this earth. And you see, that, that magnetism, the North Pole and the South Pole, they tell me that those poles are going to swap or whatever. I'm not telling you this as this is the voice of God. I'm just telling you this is what I read. Just to help you to know that even man is recognizing something is happening in the earth. Yes. Something bigger than you and I. Yes. So I want to tell you there's a voice from heaven. Now this voice is not going to come on a certain day. It'll come when you're ready to receive it. You understand? It'll come when you're ready to receive it. But I do not believe that just one or two people are going to hear this voice. Because if they did, then their bodies would change everybody else and worship them. Amen. You see? So it's going to happen corporately. But I'm not telling you it's in five years' time. I'm telling you, when we're ready, the voice will be there. When we're ready. And so I believe it could be any time. Any time. I'm waiting for it right now. When I say waiting for it, I'm ready. Or perhaps I'm not fully ready. That's why it hasn't happened. Yeah. Maybe God is still working, and that's probably so. Yes. So, but you understand, yeah. we are going to vibrate with the same vibration as in the heavenly realm. And that's the difference between spirit and flesh and blood. That's the difference. It's a vibration. And as we go on in God, God is going to lead us to the place where we will hear that voice. Amen. And the time when that shall happen. <laughs> the trumpet of God. The trumpet of God always has to do with what God says. Yeah. So God is going to speak a word into your heart. In that time when the, when the Christ will come to us, out of the heavenly realm, He's going to come to us and speak a word. And that word will speak life into us. And it will be part of the changing process. Yes. So it says here, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Well, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up with the cloud of witnesses. Yes. The spirits of just men made perfect. The angelic host. Those spirit beings from all eternity past will all be there and we will join them. And they are there watching us today. They are saying to us, come on, you can do it. You can do it. We're waiting for you because they have not yet inherited the promise. Yes. 